Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got another random game from the past for you. Both teams from different years. Both National League teams, but I am using the DH in this game because I keep getting, I've tried to run this previously, and I keep getting an error message that I don't have the pitcher's hitting cards for the individual pitchers. Um, and then it gives me an error and it kicks me out of the game. So I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I know I could probably turn that option off, but I don't know which league, the 1982 or the 1930 league, I'm supposed to turn it off in or both or whatever. It was just easier to check DH and get the DH in there. And that's going to make it a little more exciting because there's going to be some serious fireworks in this game. Because what I got for you is the 1930 Phillies who were 52-102, and 102, but had a magnificent offense. They had one of the most prolific offenses that you'd ever want to see, although the entire 1930 season was like that for a lot of teams. And the 1982 Cincinnati Reds, who were also a terrible team and were 61-101, and 101, but they had no such luck as to have one of the... Uh, most prolific offenses around. So I am going to actually change their starter at, and make it Mario Soto, um, just to give them a little bit of an edge. We've got Ray Benji going, but of course, it doesn't really matter what Phillies pitcher you pick. They're all bad. There's no good choices. So um, that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with Ray Benji versus Mario Soto in this game. And I will be taking the Phillies because it's going to be exciting to run that team, I think. And we'll see how our this, this great offense does against a 1982 Mario Soto. Should be very interesting. So let's get on with the game. And we are playing in Riverfront. Got to love this. Riverfront at night. Okay, so now let me move myself over here. And there we go. So we're going to get underway. Mario Soto pitching against Fred Brickell of the Phillies. And boy, he was out. And that brings up Fresco Thompson. You can't forget Fres Fresco Thompson. And what is he going to get? Two down. He's down. So Bernie Freeberg, he's the DH today for the Phillies. 341 hitter that year. And he's out. Mario Soto sends this offense packing one, two, three. So we got Ray Benji pitching against Dwayne Walker. I think this Cincinnati lineup is probably going to make Benji a little better than he was in 1930, but he did walk Walker, and that brings up Ron Oster. And Ron Oster's going to hit one, pass, no, maybe a fly ball. No, it fell in. It fell in. The Reds have two guys. Man, they got a rally going on, on Benji here. Dave Concepcion is up. Now, is he going to fly out? Or is he going to hit a home run? Maybe fly out, and he does. So Dan Dreesen's up with two on and only one out for the Reds. And that's going to be a ground ball to first. And he is out. Well, they, the first baseman threw it to second to get the lead runner going to second. So that was a fielder's choice. There's two down runners at the corners. Cesar Cedeno is up against. Oh, yeah, we're going to throw. And he's out. So the Phillies get out of the inning without having to have Sedanio bat. And this brings up Lefty O'Doul. Now, you remember Lefty O'Doul. That dude had, I mean, I think he had like four runs that year. And maybe that's one of them right there. Lefty O'Doul maybe leaving the park. And it is. He's out. He's out of the park. And so it's one nothing Phillies. And Chuck Klein, another guy. Another guy with a little hitting card. But he's out. So there's one down 
and Don Hurst is up for the Phillies, and he's going to rip a single. That's, I mean, clearly. He got a base hit, and that brings up Pinky Whitney. One down, Hurst at first. Hurst at first. And he strikes out. So Soto is pitching quite well, although he did give up a home run to lefty old. And that brings up Tommy Thevenow. Tommy Thevenow is going to fly out to household. He's not really a household name, but he's out there to make the play. And now Cesar Daniel, who was at the plate in the first when the final out was made by throwing a guy out at second, gets out himself. And that brings up Johnny Bench. This was the... Johnny Bench, near the end of his career, as things were winding down, he wasn't really quite as good as he was back in the 70s with the 70s uh, Big Red Machine. And here's Paul Householder. Big Paul Householder. I'll get another picture for him. And he grounds out to first base. And that's it. So we go to the top of the third. No, it's not it. That's not the end of the game. We go to the top of the third with uh, Virgil Davis. I got to find a Virgil Davis. Let's make a note of that. I mean, you got to be able to find a Virgil Davis. Because Virgil Davis just got a base hit. Or was it a what? Let's see. Let's see. Holds up uh, first base. And he gives him the safe sign. Virgil down the first ball four. So he did walk. So. That brings up Fred Burkell. Man at first, no outs. You don't, want to give, give. you don't want to walk too many of these guys because you got guys right behind them that can hit the ball out. But Burkell pops out. One down, Fresco Thompson up. Over one from today. And Fresco is going to hit a fly ball, looks like the Sedania. And that brings up Bernie Freeberg. Barney Freeberg. And he strikes out. So. That, uh, we're going to send Benji out. The Benji's pitching quite well. Alex Trevino is up for the 82 Reds. And it looks like he's out. And that brings up Wayne Krenchicki. Wayne Krenchicki is the Reds' DH. And sometimes first baseman. And he walks. So Dwayne Walker is up. Right behind Krenchicki with one, one down. And I am going to throw 65% chance. But he gets in there. So Dwayne Walker will bat now with him at second. And that looks like it's going to be a fly out. And he is out. And that brings up Ronnie Oster. And Ron Oster looks like he'll fly out to Klein. So uh, we go to the top of the fourth. Phillies leading one nothing on two hits and no errors. Cincinnati, no runs, one hit, no errors. Lefty O'Doul up. And he hit a home run last time. And what happens this time? He gets out. Chuck Klein up. And he's going to hit. He's going to go shopping at the gap, looks like, with a double. And he does. And that brings up Don Hurst. Third hit for the Phillies. This looks like it's going to be a fly ball to Cedeno. Pretty low scoring game considering everything. I'm going to hold the runner. And that brings up Pinky Whitney. And they walk Whitney to get to Thevenow. I didn't think Thevenow was that bad. I mean, he's no Chuck Klein, but. Does he? No, he's out. So the Phillies do go down there. They don't get a run. And we go to the bottom of the fourth with Concepcion up against Benji. And that may be a ground ball. And it is. He's out. Dan Dreesen up. 
Dan Dreesen looks like he might have a hit. And he does. So Cedeno is up with a man at first for the Reds and one down. And that's going to be a ground ball maybe to a double play. And it is. So Virgil Davis is up. He walked last time, and this time he looks like he's going to go out to Concepcion. And Brickell is up. This is the top of the fifth. Philly's still leading, just one nothing. And Brickell is out, and that brings up Fresco Thompson. I wonder if Fresco was his real name. And he walks, so that brings up Barney Freeberg. And that's strike three. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. Johnny Bench, who was a shadow of his former self at this point, but he gets a single. And that gives way to Paul Householder with Bench aboard and no outs. And, ooh, we're going to definitely catch that, you got to think. And we do. So there was maybe a hit and run gone bad or something there. I don't know. But Householder is out. Line drive to the first baseman, and that brings up Alex Trevino. Benjamin pitching awesome here. It's crazy. Of course, I'm sure he would pitch much better against a 1982 team than a 1930 team. Lefty O'Doul is at the plate. Has a home run today. And right there, he's going to be out. Chuck Klein up. Chucky Klein looks like he's going to round out. Two down in the sixth, and Hurst is up. And Hurst looks like he's going to fly out. So that's going to bring the Reds back up. So Benji back out to the mound. And Krenchicki up at the plate. And Krenchicki is going to tie this game, it looks like. Yeah, he does. Wayne Kren... I just want to say it again. Wayne Krenchicki. So Dwayne Walker is up. With in a tight game now. So this is a tight one. Looks like that's going to be a fly ball, though, to O'Doul. And Ron Oster is up with one down here in the sixth in a tie game at one. Home runs by Lefty O'Doul and Wayne Krenchicki. And with two down, that brings up Dave Concepcion. And Dave Concepcion is going to ground ball. To Thevenau, and what did he do? He threw it away? No, he just beat it out, so it's an infield hit. Dan Dreesen up. Two down. Concepcion lowered to 35%, trying to steal second, so he won't try it. And that's going to be a fly ball decline. Does he catch it? And he does. So that brings up Pinky Whitney. Pinky Whitney. Let's see what he can do here in the top of the seventh tie the game. And that's one out. Seven now. And he's out. And that brings up Vern Davis. He's out. So, still a tie game. Benji back out to the mound. I mean, why not? He only gave up a home run. Now, the home run was to Wayne Krenchicki, so I don't know how good that is. And now Cedeno is possibly taking him deep. 
No, double. A double with bench up and no outs. But bench strikes out. So there's one down, householder to the plate. Bench deals. Looks like it could be a fly ball to Klein. No, it falls in front of him. Klein can't get to it. So Trevino's up, and now the Reds all of a sudden are all over us. And yes, Householder steals second on top of everything. So there's still only one out, man. It's second Trevino up. And that was a pass ball. I mean, there's all kinds of problems now the Phillies are having. Ground ball to second base. And the runner holds, too. So it's still only 2-1, two, two outs. Krenchicki up, the home run man. And he's going to hit it through the hole for a single and knock in the second run. Well, the third run for the Reds, but his second run. And that brings up Dwayne Walker. And he beats the throw. Runners are, man, the Reds are just, all of a sudden, they just woke up. They did in a big way, and that's going to be, I'm going to throw for the lead runner, 50%. But they make it, so it's 4-1. It's and that's going to be it. So it's 4-1, top of the eighth. We got to get some runs here. I'm not even going to bother to bring in Lee because Benji could, can pitch an entire game easily, and nobody, and I mean nobody, on the Philadelphia pitching staff of 1930 was good. So Brickell is aboard with Fresco Thompson up, no outs, down by three. And does he get a hit? No. It was a line out to Concepcion and Freebirds out. And he strikes out. Freebird, 341 hitter, striking out. And O'Doul is at the plate. Now O'Doul can make this a one-run game with a home run. Instead, he decides to take the road less traveled and strike out. Or maybe it's the road more traveled. Dan Dreesen is up in the bottom of the eighth. And looks like he'll be out, and he is. Sedano's up. He is out, and Johnny Bench is up. And it looks like they're out. The Reds are out of it. Yeah, they are. So Chuck Klein is up. The Phillies need three runs right now. And that's a walk. That's a, you know... Semi-decent start. We got Hurst. Oh, they bring in Joe Price. My main man, Joe Price. Anybody out there that knows me knows I love Joe Price. But I want to see him fail here. And there is a base hit. And I'm going to hold the runners because we need runs. We don't really need that guy to be in scoring position specifically. Whitney, Pinky Whitney is up. The, and Pinky Whitney releases a base hit. Oh, God. I got I to hold him. There's no outs. 7-0 is up. Price is getting his butt handed to him, and they bring in Tom Hume. Yeah, you knew that Joe Price wasn't going to last long. And then 7-0 um, pops it up, way up in the air, elevator. One away, but... Okay, that brings up Virgil Davis. And he walks. So the score is now 4-2. Only one out. Brickell is up. And Brickell, what's that going to be? What are you going to call that? A double? No, he makes the grab, unfortunately. And Fresco Thompson. Fresco! And he got the ball. So, yeah, it was a line drive out. So, this was a good game. 
Final score, 4-3. Four, 4-3, three. Four, three, they just couldn't pull it out. Benji pitched 8, gave up 10 hits and 4 earned runs. And Soto pitched 8, gave up 4 hits, walked 4, and gave up 2 earned runs. Price came on, didn't get any official innings or part of an innings recorded, but gave up 2 hits and an earned run, and then that gave way to Hume, who sealed the deal. So, that is a very entertaining game. Great offense against just another bad team, and the great offense didn't prevail because the great offense didn't show up. So, that is it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.